what's going on, y'all? T-Bob here. And Jake as well. And you're about to watch a little OTB LSU. We're going to give you all the latest, greatest between LSU football, baseball, women's basketball, softball, and everything in between. Bottom line, if you want to talk Tigers, keep it locked, subscribe, like it, and uh, we hope you enjoy the LSU uh, hosted three different transfer targets. Uh, the first one, a big one here, Kentucky wide receiver Barry and Brown. Um, Brown was a freshman All-American, was it two years ago or maybe three years ago? So that was 2022, so two okay. years ago. Okay, I get confused in my year still. He's played so, three years of college ball. Yeah, so okay, so he's a freshman All-American, um, but this he was actually a preseason first team All-American entering 2024, so very high expectations. But as we know, uh, Kentucky was an absolute disaster. This year. So here in year number three, in which a guy's supposed to be peaking, he actually had his worst season yet. 29 catches, 361, only three touchdowns. But everybody can see, well, it's not on Barry Brown. It's Kentucky, right? It's the context of the situation. That was a god-awful offense that was wasting his talent. So he is one of the premier targets in the transfer portal. And uh, apparently the visit went very well. And the R on three recruiting prediction machine for whatever that is worth is picking LSU to land the receiver. So that is massive, right? Uh, because you lose CJ Daniels, you're losing Kyron Lacey, you get, uh, I mean, maybe you get Chris Hilton back. We'll see. Uh, and after that, it's just like, okay, which young guys are going to step up? So Barry and Brown, like if he joins today, uh, even if Chris Hilton returns, that is by far your most experienced and productive receiver, no? Yeah. I mean, him and then, you know, Anderson to break out year. But, yeah, probably Barry and Brown because he's done for three years. Um, oh, I forget about Aaron Anderson. Sorry. You're right. You're right. You, you saw Aaron Anderson, Anderson which Thomas, is huge. Yes, my bad. Brown, Hilton, and then Kyle Parker back from injury. So, yeah, I mean, again, I think I still think there's a lot of talent in that group. I trust Cortez Hankton uh, above anybody when it comes to developing wide receivers. I mean, look at what has happened to Georgia since he left and look at what's happened to LSU since he got here. Uh, but yeah, if you could land Barry Brown, that would be a massive get for this offense. Uh, maybe even bigger is Florida cornerback Jakeem Jackson. And this feels like LSU. It makes all the sense in the world that LSU would land him here. He was a number three cornerback in 2023. It was a massive get for Florida to get him. Why did they get him? Corey Raymond. Where's Corey Raymond now? At LSU. So Jakeem Jackson leaving Florida wants to reunite with Raymond, or at least we think he does. That makes a lot of sense. Getting him, huge, okay? Because then you got him, you got Pickett, you got Anding, you still got um, uh, Woodland, you still got Stamps. Like, okay, all of a sudden, we've got a lot of guys to throw against the wall and have somebody, you know, have, have legitimate starters emerge. Corey Raymond, if he lands Jakeem Jackson, fulfilling the 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 kind of DBU revitalization project. I think that could be massive. And then there's Purdue defensive end, Will Help. 6'6", 265. We touched on him a bit recently. Um, he's kind of, he's he's not like your pure pass rusher. He's 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 kind of an every down edge guy, right? Good against the run. Good, good at rushing the passer, certainly. I mean, 10 tiffles, five sacks this year um, in his sophomore season. Uh, but he's, he's, he's a hot commodity right now. Like the other two guys, predict you to LSU. He visited A&M. Uh, where else is he visiting? We were talking he about He is visiting... Oh, Clemson. Yeah, yes, he's going sir. to Clemson next, which is funny. You're seeing Clemson now finally... I believe all this the portal. has contacted him as well. Yeah, so we'll see, man. I, I don't know on Will Help, but it would be a... a, a in, in, you know, in a news cycle that's been filled with guys leaving, if you could get commitments from Barry and Brown and Jakeem Jackson, that is very good. That makes you a better team, objectively, than you were previously. So we'll continue to keep an eye on those situations. Wow, Jake, what incredible takes. I mean, those guys, they're just the best. Uh, I think so. And if you think so, again, hit the like button, subscribe, ring the bell so you get notifications we post every single day here on OTB LSU.